And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com. And I'm back on another tutorial video. I was just getting hit with some questions in regards to tagging your sounds. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, a sound can actually be used for more than just, let's say, saving uh, WAV files or AIFF files. You know, normally, okay, for example, here is the, uh, the zone map. You know, normally you can have your sounds on here and you can save those sounds, make instruments with loops, whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you something a little bit different, which you might find to be uh, very useful. For example, I have a contact uh, five instrument open right now, the addictive synthesis uh, sound library. You guys can pick that up on the site, by the way. So here I have an instrument loaded up. So let's say I have this loaded up and I have this set up the way that I wanted to have it set up. One thing you can do is you can highlight the name of the instrument here. You can control C and copy that. Okay. Then what happens is you can go down here to your sound. You can right click on that. Let me get this out of the way. You can right click on your sound here. You can press save as. Okay. When you press save as, it gets saved as what's called an MX SND file or machine sound file. Now it's bringing up this location here because I loaded this template up from this drum kit or a contact five expansion I should say but let's go ahead and cruise down here I have a folder well actually this is how I labeled this folder okay and again you guys can get this on the uh, the site the cool thing about this all the work is done with this so let's uh, okay here it is machine addictive sounds now this is where I have all the sound files stored okay so if I was to save it it would show up in here As you can see here, some of the others that I have in here. So it will show up in here along with the other sounds or the other instruments. Okay. Now the artwork is here. So if I needed to, you know, load it up a machine, I can do that and bring up all the artwork. But before we get into any of that, here's where your sounds will actually get saved. Okay. And you just press save here. Okay. And here is the actual expansion itself. Okay. So I maximize this out for a minute. Again, here's the sound files here. Okay, and there they are. Little artwork folder, whatever. You know, because the artwork folder is going to come in handy when you want to, you know, make the GUI look more, you know, custom tuned to how you want to have your machine looking. You know, you guys are pretty much familiar with that. But if not, again, this is new um, to this member. So I'm just, you know, basically recapping because this is something that we covered in the past. But I want to go ahead and get, you know, this member up to date as well as you know if there's someone out there who's new this is going to help them out as well now the way that I, I made this kit okay i have the sample files here okay i include the wave files with each one why because you know there are producers out there who want to take you know maybe their production a step you know a step further they might want to manipulate some sounds you know anything to help a, a producer's production i'm all for it okay so for example here's the template here but also include the sample files here. Okay. And another cool thing about it is in each one of these um, sample folders, what I did was I took one of the uh, machine addictive sound files out of here. You know, I would take it like this and I would copy this file, for example, and then I would copy and paste it in the corresponding folder. Now, the reason I did that is in case someone, you know, is at home or whatever, and you, let's say they're going through these sounds here. And they might need, you know, to recall that sound really quickly if they're not in a machine or whatever. Because when you click on them sound files, what happens is it's going to open up machine right away. Okay, so I did that. So by doing that, when you scan the library, a lot of times it will give you these duplicates here. Okay, but I wouldn't worry about that. Well, I don't worry about that. Because that's just my preference because I like to keep everything neat and organized in my folder. Now with you, if you want to delete them sound files out of this kit, you can do that. You know, you can just highlight these sounds like this. And you can press delete. Okay, and you can just have one for each. Okay, for example, under the instrument tab here, you notice how there's only one in there because this is the addictive synthesis library and I have it tagged and filtered in here. So it's only one. Okay, as you can see right there, or if I was to do maybe like my beast mode red. Okay, here goes some custom presets 
or my Bugatti strings, for example. You know, again, custom presets. You tag and filter them, or let's say, for example, Relentless Punch. Okay, on this computer anyway. So let's go back to the sound tab. Okay, so the sounds can be really useful because when you want to load an instrument, normally, okay, inside contact, you can just press the right or left arrow like this. Okay, you can just go through your sounds like this, for example. Okay. So if you want to load an instrument, let's say if I wanted to load, let's say like this piano, I could just grab this sound here, okay? There's the piano right there. Again, part of the addictive synthesis library. Now, as you can see right there, those sounds load up. So again, when you're going like this and you're right clicking and you're saving your sounds, when your sounds are saving, or rather when your sounds are getting saved inside of your kit or wherever you want to save your sounds, it's completely up to you because there are different locations in machine where you can't save them. So where you save your sounds, is completely up to you. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, to make it easier, let's go ahead and do it like this. Under sound, let's say, for example, I'm going to name this I'll just put test, I'll put test, uh, cause it really doesn't exist. It's just, you know, I'm just overwriting this file, but this is going to give you an example to learn how to do it. So what happens is I highlight the little name here. I control C that I go here. I press save as okay. And as you can see right here, here's the folders of sound inside the machine addictive sounds. Uh, folder because okay let's go back a little bit okay so here's the uh the kit itself okay again you can save these wherever you want but i want to keep it nice and neat let's say for example i want it nice and neat i'm going to erase this file anyway because it's non-existent uh in the kit so let's say i just name the file like so as you can see right there it saves as an mx snd file i press save okay get saved in there okay now it goes in alphabetical order so let's see, there it is right there. So let's just close this out and let's test this out right quick. We'll grab this little file here and we'll drop it in like this. We'll bring up contact and there's our little preset. See, test NKI. So, you know, it, it, it saved the file, it brought up contact, it loaded up everything um, just as it should. From that point, you can go and you can tag it, edit it. Let's say we add it to the addictive synthesis library. And I'll just put test because I'm going to make sure I erase that. I'll write test here. And to narrow it down a little bit more, I'll put delete. Make a little message to myself to delete that because <laughs> I definitely don't need it. And under your properties, you know, you put whatever you want to put your vendor name or, you know, whatever. I put uh, my name in there www.vipsoundlab.com we'll press apply exit out of that we'll go back to our tags and as you can see right there there it is right there test if I click on that it's sitting there all by itself all right so that's pretty much how it works this is your boy Fontaine vipsoundlab.com if you have any questions or concerns feel free to hit me up and I will see you guys on the next one Peace.